Welcome back to Hedge Apple Acres. I'm Cal, and in today's video, we're going to build a hive stand. Over the years, I've seen many different types of hive stands for beehives. I've got a few myself, but my favorite is just using cement blocks or center blocks and 4x4s. So today, we're going to build a simple one out of center blocks and 4x4s. It'll hold six hives. Usually I just run four on it, but it'll hold six. I use a 12 foot long 4x4s. I could actually go up to get a 14 foot one and that, that would give me a little bit more room. Cost is not too high. I'll put a breakdown right over there of it, or I'll put a breakdown right over there of it. I don't know. Takes nine halves center blocks, nine full center blocks, and two four by fours by 12 feet. And I'll put an estimated cost up. Um, so let's get to it. I like this hive stand because it's easy to adjust. If I don't like it, I can take it down, I can put it back up. Nothing's permanent about it. If you look at the end, I have all those open. I've done it where they're solid except for the top. But what happens if there's any openings, red wasps will get in there and build nest. And then you don't see them till you're messing with bees. If I leave it all open, it's easy to visually check and see if we've got some red wasps in there or not. I want the length to be level and I want the width to tilt back or tilt forward just for runoff reasons. I don't have my level with me today. It's at the shop. So I will have to come back and do some more leveling on this. We'll take another look at it. The center pier um, helps with weight. It's not that important right now, but as we get bees on it, hives on it, and they start collecting honey, it becomes much more important. We got a little bit of a, that'll work. We'll get some hives and set on it. As always, we appreciate you watching, and we encourage you to comment, like, subscribe, and share. We'll be seeing you more.